Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy and I do DIY projects every single week. So I was watching Interior Design Masters on Netflix a couple of weeks ago and they featured a guest judge by the name of Abigail Ahern. And I really liked her style, so after looking her up, I discovered that she is a maximalist. And I know a lot of us are familiar with minimalism, but maybe not so much maximalism. Although it involves a lot of objects, maximalism is intentionally curated and they play a lot with texture and color and scale and proportion. And I think it can be a really cool design style as long as it's done with intention. So I was browsing her website and I stumbled upon the Malia lamp and I thought it was a really unique piece with all the raffia and the ceramic base. And I actually had a lamp that I was trying to get rid of already. So I decided to give it some new life and try to recreate this design. As usual, I'm gonna show you how I did it. For this project, I'm going to be using my old Target lamp, a hot glue gun, glue sticks, raffia, and a pair of scissors. First, I'm going to take my lampshade and dot it with a bead of hot glue on the inner part. I started by wrapping each strand of raffia individually around the shade, but then decided to glue them in bunches instead because that's just a little inefficient. Here I'm beginning to glue them in bunches. I just cut strips to fit the height of the shade and I just made sure that each strand was glued down securely. And you're gonna repeat this process a million times until you've covered the surface of the shade. And thanks to the magic of editing, we are almost done wrapping up this shade. So just press on, you can do it. Something interfering with our or actions. Fear is the response to loud noises or loss of support. Whew, glad that's over. Now we can move on to trimming off the excess raffia. Next, we're gonna work on our lamp base. We're going to be using our air dry clay and a small bowl for slip. First, we're going to knead our clay just to make it a little bit more malleable and easier to work with. Here, I'm flattening my clay so I can add paint to the clay itself, but I found that the color was not really the shade I wanted, so definitely feel free to skip this step. Now, I'm pinching off a little piece of clay and adding water to it to create my slip. Next, we're gonna take our clay and smooth it onto the base of the lamp. Air dry clay sticks to glass, so just do a quick Google search to make sure that the clay will stick to your lamp's surface. You can use your slip to smooth out any cracks, but just try not to wet it too much because it may cause cracking during the drying process. The result of a show of affection or favor, and these seem to be the emotions. Now we're gonna be creating our design. You can create any design you like, but since I'm replicating the Malia lamp, I am going to be coiling and cutting out small pieces of the clay and then shaping them into these spiky, nipply shapes. Then I'm gonna take my base and just kind of see where I want them. To stick them on, I'm going to be scoring the bottom of the spike using a little bit of slip and then stick it onto my base. Just make sure to smooth it all out so that it looks cohesive. Nature endows us at birth with three general patterns of emotional response. Rage is the response to the primary stimulus. Once you've completed your design, just let it dry for about two to three days or however long it takes to completely dry. So a couple days later, we got some major crackage. Wasn't expecting it to be that bad but um, I put in some E6000 to maybe help bond it. Um, I have to let that cure for a couple days and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, and I've also created some slip so that I can try to fill in the cracks with that. So we'll see. Now we can start painting. Pretty self-explanatory, but just make sure that you get all the nooks and crannies, all those little indentations covered. I chose to do two coats on my lamp base and that was sufficient. 
And here I'm just cleaning off any paint that dripped on the cord or other parts of the lamp. Then sprayed it with my clear coat and now it is done. Now it's time to reassemble. And that's it. I really love the texture that it adds to my space and it really looks unique. And this project is definitely a labor of love because it takes so long to wrap the lampshade in the raffia. So just be prepared for that. But for me, it was well worth it. The total time probably took me a week because of having to fix those cracks that happened. Just be sure not to wrap it in plastic wrap like I did. That can cause a ton of crackage, as you saw. But it still could be fixed, even if it does happen. I know that this project isn't necessarily for everyone. The design is very odd, but it worked for me. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And as usual, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!